Hey Virgo, it's Alex, and I'm here to bring you your weekly tarot reading. I hope you guys are doing amazing, and let us see what the universe has for you, Virgo. Mm, being at a crossroads. It's Taurus. You're wishing for this person to come back. You're wishing for somebody to come back, Virgo. This is somebody who might have ghosted you or just kind of walked away abruptly. The Seven of Swords. Um, it could have been because of a third party situation, specifically a marriage. And I feel like with this Two of Wands, you don't know if you should walk away or if you should try to give this another try. I feel like you're in love with this person or you're starting to develop feelings for this person. Mm, could be somebody you work with. This is going to sound crazy and don't beat me up in the comments. Even though this is a third party, I do kind of feel like you were happy. Yeah, you're trying to contain your feelings or hold your feelings back. This is the best person you've ever been with in all your life. That King of Wands in the star card. That's what I just heard. The thing that I like about this reading, Virgo, that I'm getting is whatever situation that you are in, you your eyes are wide open, your feet, your feet are firmly planted on the ground. So I feel like, you know, another way of saying that basically is you guys know what you're getting yourselves into. And I feel like, you know, here with the two of wands, you're just trying to figure out your approach. Um, you know, you're a catch, you know, you're valuable, you know, you're worthy. Um, and yeah, this person's situation, their uh, marriage or girlfriend, boyfriend, whatever, uh, commitment that they're in to an extent it's almost like you know better right you know this is not the ideal situation ladies and gentlemen by the way I am not condoning cheating at all I'm just reading these cards okay but it's almost like um you know the situation that you're in you know it's a tough situation it makes you anxious it makes you crazy it keeps you up at night you just want your person all to yourself but with that Three of Swords and the Sun card, you know, this is crazy because I just got it hurt so good. <laughs> if this is your situation, could you just leave me a comment and say, this is my situation, <laughs> right? Now, with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Pentacles, again, you know, you know you shouldn't be involved in whatever this is, Virgo. You know you need to get out before, you, before your feelings get hurt before, you know, somebody gets hurt, before something is found out. This is, is not, you know, what you want. It's not the ideal relationship. And I also kind of feel like with the Seven of Swords, you know all of this, but it hurts so good, right? Because of this King of Wands. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like this King of Wands represents sex, okay? In other words, this could be a friends with benefits or some sort of situationship where there is a third party and you guys have been physically intimate, but you know something, Virgo, you're making it work for you and no judgment from me. I don't give a shit. Do you and make you happy. You only live this lifetime. You only get one chance to live this lifetime. And I'm also being told if you're not fucking it up, then you ain't learning or growing. So you might as well. Now, by the way, these are just as suggestions. You guys are welcome to take whatever advice or, you know, you're responsible for what you do and you're responsible for your actions. But I just kind of feel like for a lot of you guys, you're trying to contain, 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 hold back with this King of Wands, which represents Leo, could be Sagittarius or Aries um, or an Aquarius, but... Yeah, that's sexual healing right there. Yes, Marvin. Mm-hmm. 
this is almost like you trying to walk away. You know you need to head towards something better, right? Because that's your card. There, That's you, Virgo. You know you need to head towards something else. You know this is not going to work out in the end. But Sun card, you know, again, Leo. Uh, and angels just said to me, it's the sex and the passion, Alex, that really gets them. Okay, Leo, uh, Virgo. You have Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Leo, Pisces. Whew. And, and I know now why you're sitting here with the two of wands, you don't know what to do. Should I leave? Should I go? I would say to you, Virgo, be happy. I'm just stressed out, Alex. I need some advice. I know it's not the ideal situation, but every time I try to pull myself away, I get drawn back in. I feel so empty. Like, you know, my person is serving a purpose. Okay, girl, well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to slowly but surely try to wean myself out of it. Then you get digmatized again. And you back in love. Then you back in the you back in start, uh, Virgo. Ooh, Lord. I remember these situations. Get more information. I mean, I feel like you know everything you need to know at this point. It's just a matter of fate and free will, baby. <laughs> yes, it is. A year from now, that's how long this thing is going to last. And I'm not saying it's going to last only a year, but I feel like a year from now with your act. Oh, angels are saying, okay, a year from now with your actions, will you remember this situation? Will you remember it as a positive situation or a negative situation? There's something better. Yeah, I feel truly Virgo, you know, whatever this situation is. You know you should not be, you're playing with fire. And Virgo's like, I am, Alex, but it's so good. <laughs> you got a queen of pentacles and the king of wands, right? So yeah, you got that wand energy. And Virgo, you are starting to develop feelings. So if you cannot, you're trying to get a hold of them, but if you don't get a good hold on them, that thing's going to run away from you. A time for healing. Take time and breathe out. Yeah, see that? That's your card right there, Virgo. That Knight of Pentacles. You know, and to me, the Knight of Pentacles with the Justice is do the right thing. But every time you try to do the right thing, here come that Leo and that wand just whew, setting you back, Virgo. Show the world the real you. Yeah, just be honest and true, true to yourself. What do you need to release? Yeah, this is this is a mind fuck, Virgo, because I just feel like, yeah, yeah, of course the two of wands. Of course the two of wands. Because you sitting there looking at this king and his wand, male or female, and you're like, do I have to? <laughs> anyway, Virgo, I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. If the reading does resonate, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, and also comment. I love you, Virgo. Bye.